All right, what do we have here? We got uh, Amazon Prime delivery, and we got this other knife that we can do like a little, you know, final review on. It's a Walmart uh, Ozark trail knife, and it is still a piece of shit. So I'm not even going to really use that. That's not what I'm going to use. So what I am going to use is this lovely SRM San Ranmu. Uh, what is the number of this guy? I think it is a... 722 BBGT, but they call it a Rubik. Um, really nice knife, 14C28N. It used to have sort of a drop point, kind of a curvy, I don't know what you call it, but whatever. But I cut it and made it into more of a Bowie uh, tip on it. Just really nice, great sound. Really, really sharp edge from the factory. Um, near a mirror edge from the factory, which is kind of weird. Um, really, really nice. It is a, we've reviewed this before uh, in the unboxing and the looking at it to begin with, and it is a sort of a folded liner taco uh, integral because it doesn't have, you know, it has a one piece body that's the liner and then it has the scales outside of that. Now it's white G10, so it gets dirty easy, but really cool knife. Very nice. So that's your, you know, kind of follow-up review. It's still a nice knife, still recommended. Let's get this thing open. Ooh, what do we have here? Something from Perwin. I've had one or two other Perwin knives and they've all been pretty good. Now this was kind of on like a super sale. Uh, it already was fairly cheap, like 70, 70, 80 bucks, something like that. And then it had like 30% off or some nonsense. I'll put the link down below. Um, either way, whether it's good or bad, you can decide. Um, and it ended up being like 55 bucks for this titanium and Damascus uh, knife. Now, what is the Damascus? I think it's a VG10 core. And we can see that there's a core that's separate from the rest of the layers. So I think that's what it is, a VG10 core. Nice, solid titanium frames. Very solid. Boy, the lockup is a little light. Uh, just opening it slowly. Ooh, ooh. Okay, it just locked up, but it wasn't all, okay. All right, I was thinking that I was gonna do a tap test on it and it was gonna fail it really bad. Let's find out. Let's do a tap test, because it didn't. Okay, let's open it and close it a couple times. All right, not bad. All right, I can't really finger flick it too good. That's sad, but maybe we can improve that. Action's not bad though. Sound is pretty good. All right, let's try it now and see if it stays locked up. I'm gonna get my fingers out of the way in case it comes back. Okay, now well, it's locked up. Shit, it's locked up at 40, 45% actually. So I'm not sure what, if they had a little burr on it or what uh, on the initial uh, opening there. Man, detent is stout. Nice, solid detent. Seems like maybe it's over-tightened. I'm gonna loosen up the um, pivot and see if she was over-tightened, because it feels like maybe she was. Okay, it's loose. Tightening it back up now to, you know, what normally would be just past where the blade wobbles. That's how I tighten mine up. I want to feel the blade wobble back and forth. Now, not out here. You're not going to get much blade wobble out here because the because the lock bar is going to stop it from wobbling. You want to you want to try and wobble it here. And boy, that that's just about wobble gone there. Wow, not bad. Um, let's see, is the Lock bar is pretty stout, but I would say it's pretty good. Not overly strong. Pretty good lock access. Um, I think I could probably grind down this area right here a little bit and get in there for a reverse flick. I bet you could, but as of now, I cannot reverse flick it at all. Can I thumb flick it? Okay, interesting. It has a cut down right here that you can get in there with your thumb. Okay, but on the other side, no uh, no such luck. 
I'm not sure why they didn't uh, do that. The blade is a nice shape. I don't dislike it. Um, they, they needed way more of a sharpening choil. Sharpening choil is garbage. It's actually useless. They put in a choil and it doesn't even go anywhere near the edge of the blade. And just, that's terrible. Um, but that's fixable. Really nice action. How's the centering? Centering's dead on. Well, you can see the stripe in the center of the blade of that VG10 core, that different metal. Uh, boy, it's pretty Damascus, man. Oh, it's got a big scratch on it, though. Look at that. Big scratch right in the Damascus. I was thinking about maybe just kind of polishing it uh, to where it would be all polished. And then you'll see the layers, but they'll be way more subtle. And that would get rid of that big scratch, too, which, you know, I don't think I did that. That's a big scratch that came on the knife. Right there. I don't know if you can see it. Not bad, though. Good um, uh, flipper action. Not the best sound, but not bad. Pocket clip looks a little blunt. Let's try this guy out. It's a little, yeah, it's a little hard to get into the pocket. Yeah, a little too strong, real strong too. So I think what we need to do is cut an angle here so we can get in here to reverse flick and see if you could do it. Uh, the milling on the body looks kind of neat or on the frame. Looks pretty cool. Air goes are pretty good. Like I said, lockup is really getting close to 50% now as it wears in here as I'm messing with it. Yeah, it's 45 at least, I would say. 45% lockup. Yeah, they didn't, um, I don't know why they cut this area down right where the this is and then didn't, yeah, I don't know. You could. You could have given a little more access to the thumb hole. It's not bad for the thumb though. It's doable. You just got to get the meat of your thumb down in there. You got to kind of be deliberate about it and think about what you're doing and probably not have your finger on the lock bar on the other side. That would help. Let's see. If I deliberately don't put my fingers on the lock bar, definitely a little better. Okay. If I put my fingers on the lock bar, yeah, maybe it's not that much different. Nice, solid feeling knife. Probably a little on the heavy side, but no um, no relief cuts inside. So just solid slabs of titanium there. Not bad though. Not a bad knife for like 55 bucks. Is it even sharp? Will it cut anything? Let me find a piece of paper. It's got one of those edges. It's like sharp, but you know it could use a strop, and it's not very aggressive. It's kind of a, you know, it's probably like a 20, 22 degree edge, something like that, when it could probably be a little better. Maybe a 17 or something like that would work a little better, be a little slicier. Blade stock isn't super thick. Let's look at the uh, SRM here. Yeah, I'd say it's similar to the SRMs, maybe a hair thicker. So, and then not as much of a tall grind. So, you know, that's, it's going to lose a little bit of sliciness there being kind of a not super tall grind and being a fairly thick blade. So not super slicey, but not bad. You know, it's not bad. Needs a, needs a choil cut in. Needs access to that uh, thumb hole there. Yeah, otherwise not a bad knife. So, uh, you know, you guys decide. Uh, it seems like they're on a little bit of a sale right now on Amazon. I'll put the link down below. I don't think it has an actual name. It's just a um, Perwin, you know, knife, Perwin. Oh, VG10 67 layers Damascus TC4 titanium handle. Does it have a name? That'd be cool. Perwin Damascus pocket knife. Uh, PTK05SSSR USSR? No, SSSR US. New. It's not old, so it's new. Uh, made in China. Yeah, not really a name. Got a little blanket in there. Pretty cool stuff, man. So, not a bad knife. I would say it's worth the price. I don't think it's some super duper deal because there's some things that have to be done on it, like the pocket clip has to be fixed. 
so that it actually uh, isn't fucking hardly almost impossible to get in your pocket and access to that thumb hole. But otherwise, uh, you know, uh, it's not bad. If you're not a guy who can do mods, though, I don't know. I, can, I don't know if I could recommend it. I would recommend it to anybody who, who is, you know, a hobbyist who wants to do some little work on their knife and maybe fix it up a little bit because the pocket clip is nearly unusable. Okay, so maybe we'll do a little video on how to fix that uh, and maybe a little grind there too. So we'll see. Have a nice day.